Scientists, hello and welcome back to the lab. Today, we're doing yet another National Geographic Amazing Reaction Series Kit experiments. Specifically, we're going to be doing the atomic physics experiment, where we take something that is very basic, mix it with something that is very acidic, and we see if a reaction is going to occur and if the overall pH level is going to change. Everything you need is included directly with this kit here. And in addition to that, all you're going to be needing is some water. And so this experiment is going to entail water, your beaker included with the kit, a test tube, the phenol red, which is an indicator solution, a cup, baking soda, another test tube, your scooper, a pipette, the citric acid, and that's everything you need. So I hope you have everything together in front of you and let's go through this experiment to take a look at what's going to happen after we create a basic solution with an indicator, an acidic solution, and then ultimately mix the two together. So step one, we're going to be taking 20 milliliters of water and we're going to be pushing it into the test tube. And so here I could see where my 50 line is and I'm going to aim for a bit under half of that to get to 20. And I'm going to pour that into my first test tube. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this phenol red, being careful. And before I do that, I'm also going to make sure to put on my safety equipment. So there are my glasses and I already have my gloves on. And so I'm opening up this phenol red indicator solution, which keep in mind will change color based on the acidity. You might have to pull off that uh, tab if this is your first experiment where you are using this phenol red. Taking your pipette included in the kit, go ahead and dip it into that phenol red solution. Push down on the top. That will create some suction and suck in. Now we're only going to use five drops. And so feel free to push that solution back in to make sure you save it for future experiments. And so we're going to add five drops here. One two, three, four, and five. And we're just gonna put the rest directly back, just like that. And we could wash this pipette out with water later. I'm gonna cover and close this solution because it may stain, so we don't wanna accidentally spill this. And I'm going to make sure that that is closed. And the next thing you're going to want to do is definitely mix this around. Make sure that it's evenly distributed in there with that phenol red into your 20 milliliter of water that you had put into that test tube. Now, the next step is we're going to measure 50 milliliters of water with our beaker, we're going to pour it into this second test tube. And importantly, we are going to be adding baking soda. Specifically, we're going to be adding two medium scoops. And so I've got my water again, that 50 milliliter line is very simple to see. I'm going to pour in, make sure I have 50. I'm going to take that test tube number two, pour in 50 milliliters of water, almost close to the top, as you can see. And then here's my baking soda. I'm going to go ahead and use my big spoon here and I'm going to add two medium scoops. So there's scoop number one. We're going to drop that right in there. And here is scoop number two. And it goes. So we can see the baking soda is dissolving and diffusing into this water in our solution number two. So what we have here is our indicator, which will tell us the acidity. And we also have just a very basic solution, a mixture of water and baking soda. Now, the next step of what we're going to do is we're going to be pouring both this indicator as well as this basic solution into the provided cup. And I'm just going to pour both of these together here. And it's immediately in front of my eyes here, turning pink. And that's because phenol red, the indicator, it will turn pink when you have a basic solution such as that that we created with the baking soda. 
Now, what happens if we add in something acidic? Well, let's go back to our beaker here. Let's pour in another 20 milliliters of water. But this time, instead of creating a basic solution with the baking powder, we're going to create an acidic solution using the citric acid that's provided. So just one big scoop of citric acid is going to be enough. I'm going to take this scoop here, scoop it into that 20 milliliter, stir it, make sure it gets mixed. We do want these citric acid crystals to dissolve into that water. So just doing a little more stirring. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pour this acidic solution here into our pink tall cup, which was a mix of the indicator and the basic solution. And so we should see that we're going to change it back by adding something acidic. We're going to change it back from this basic pink to a more yellow color, a bright color indicating the uh, essentially the fact that we're bringing it and counterbalancing this uh, basicness with an acidity level, bringing us back to that indicator color where we began. And so I see that the mixture is complete. Stay tuned as we pour it in to the pink basic solution. And wow, it is fizzing, it is bubbling, and that is a chemical reaction occurring right in front of our eyes. And importantly, this is also completely yellow. Now, do not drink this while this solution looks very cool and yellow and it's bubbling. It's essentially uh, carbonated now. It is not something that we want to drink, but it is something we're going to look at and admire this chemistry in action. And just like that, in front of our eyes, the starting reactants, in this case, our baking soda mixture, mixed with that citric acid mixture, created or yielded through a change, changing the bonds because there's enough energy for molecular reaction here into products or substances that we could see with this carbonation include carbon dioxide gas. So that's one of the products. So very cool chemical experiment here in front of us. We definitely created some atomic fizz. It almost fizzed out of the cup. And this was a very exciting experiment. Don't forget before your next experiment to clean everything out, clean your test tubes, clean your pipettes to make sure you're ready to go. If you want to see more experiments, check them out on the channel. Let us know what kit you'd like us to walk you through. And we hope to see you back in the lab for another session.